Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we are styling animal prints and I thought I'd start off the video right with my little cheetah print and velour robe. I love this. I actually thrifted this. Everything you see from the outfits I'm gonna put together is secondhand or thrifted. So I asked you over on my Instagram what you wanna see from me next styling wise on the channel. And I got a few entries of different stuff, but one that stuck out to me really was styling animal print. And I know that cheetah print and like animal print in general is like a big trend this year. So why not show you how I personally style animal prints. So the base of our first outfit, the animal print element of it, is gonna be this two piece little layered moment that I thrifted the other week. It's by Ashley Stewart, one of my favorite brands to thrift. So this has a micro mesh button up layer over a little tank top in the same print. It's a digital rose print with cheetah print. You're joking. I know a lot of people don't like styling red and green together, but they're complimentary colors and you can do it in a non Christmas vibe way too. So that's my challenge today. So for the bottom layer, I added this maxi velour red crushed velvet skirt. The pops of red in the shirt just ties really perfectly into the red skirt. And then underneath that, I have paired on some green tights for some warmth and for just another green element. For the top, I actually like the way it just looks with the one top button buttoned. It looks a little bit more flattering than have them um, buttoned in the middle and have this open and this open. I really like the way this looks. And then also, if you didn't want to have to wear like necklace or anything, looks good without one. I'm going to be pairing these like muted metallic little wedges and it'll have the green for my tights popping out at the toe area and that'll tie in the green up in the top too. And I think the more muted metallic like brown color goes really good with the type of top that I have on too. So if you can see it, here are the shoes. I love the little pop of green down below. I love how broken up the green colors are and everything. I love the height that these shoes give me. And I just like the silhouette that it has too, going with the skirt. And then for another top layer, I'm going to add this duster that's also velour. So it ties in the velour material down with the skirt too, all the textures and everything just tying in well together. And this just adds another layer of warmth on top of like a big coat you could wear out. But I'm gonna keep it open so you can see all the layering going on. For another little green element and to add some extra warmth, I'm gonna add this really cool slinky knitted scarf. And to tie all that red back in, I'm gonna use this red bag. styling is this little button-up velour shiny snakeskin printed top. It's giving me 90s kind of clubbish wear plus like you can wear this to the office or do so many things with this. And then I'm also going to throw on this stretchy little cotton skirt too with it. I was going to pair black tights up underneath this but I kind of like the way that the green and blue looks together and I also have this juicy couture bag that I think would be cute to pair with it. It's also navy blue and green. So that's why I'm gonna just keep these green tights on. For shoes, I'm just pairing my really chunky boots. So here are all those base pieces put on together. So now we need to do a little bit of outer layer layering. Here's how it looks without all the outer layers on with the back too. I think it just, all the colors look so good together like this. Honestly, this calls for a leather trench with shoulder pads. I don't know why, but this is a vibe. Next animal print we'll be styling is this green like zebra slash tiger print little lightweight cardigan. The top I'm gonna be pairing underneath it is this purple happy bunny shirt and you're probably thinking, why purple? It's because the skirt that I'm actually gonna be pairing with it has this iridescent green and purple hue to it. It's so sick. So that's why I think the green and the purple 
combination will look really good because this has both of the colors in it too. So here is what the skirt looks like on. I really love it. It is more of a thin material, so this might have to be like a more spring into summer type outfit. And I just have the cardigan with one button at the top so you can still see the graphic tee through it, but it's still like holding its shape really nicely. I think these colors look really good together. To bring in another green element, I'm going to pair these green little funky flats. They're not really flat all the way, but they're flat for me. Hopefully you can see the shoes from the angle I'm at right now. I think it looks really cute with all the different green tones together and I still have those green tights on, so you can still see that too popping through. And then for another layer, tying in more purple, I'm gonna do this little fur lined cardigan. That just adds another good layer, it adds another good texture. It also is like a nice floor length, so it's almost the length of the skirt, so all the proportions look really good together. And you can also have this open or have this tied in the front too. So cute. And then you just have that little bit of that animal print popping out too if you have it on. And then it's an easy layer to take off when you're inside and it gets a little bit hotter. And for my bag, I'd probably just take this black bag, something kind of simple to like neutralize a lot of the colors. But if I had like a purple bag or a green bag, I might throw that on. But I think the black like tones it down a little bit and black just goes with everything. And then this has a chrome really cool handle on it. So the next item is this long sleeve vintage t-shirt. It's not technically just animal print, it has the actual animal on it. So it has tiger print, like a tiger print, and also zebra all over it, along with a little bit of like floral. It has some green in there. I'm gonna also tie in some more green with this cargo skirt. Here are those two pieces on. I think they look really cute together. Now I'm gonna throw on these cute little heels, pointed toe heels that have this cute little bronzed buckle on it. So the brown tones will tie into the brown tones of the shirt. And again, I still have on those green tights because literally like every outfit I've put together unintentionally has gone with the green tights. So I do have that just poking out a little bit with the heels. I think it looks really good with that. That's really it for the inside styling part. If you just wanna add a little bit more jewelry, obviously. But now I'm going to add this even darker green little cotton motorcycle style jacket. You can tell me what you think about like the different greens together. This looks almost black, but it's like more of like a super dark emerald, I guess. So you can let me know what you think. I think it looks good. I don't mind pairing the same colors with different tones together. So you just tell me. This is what it looks like zipped. I love this silhouette of jacket. For this, we're just gonna keep it open, a little casual moment because the star of the show is the animal print. And to pull in the more bronzy, coppery tones that are also in the shoes and a little bit in the shirt, I'm gonna take this gold and brown little shoulder bag that has the big O-ring details. And it also has like what, this alligator skin detail on it too. So again, pairing two different types of animal print together, you can always do that too. Switching it up from tops, next item we're gonna be styling are these cheetah print, really flared thermal pants. I love these, I haven't styled these in so long. I paired this graphic band t-shirt with the pants because these pants give me very like casual, going to a concert type energy. So I think any type of like fun graphic tee or band tee really looks good with like animal print type pants like this. For the second layer on top, I'm adding this long black cardigan with the fur trim. Kind of like you saw before, but this one is just all black. It's very rock star girlfriend energy, I feel like. To go along with that energy and just tying in all the tones together, I have these really grungy buckle boots. I love that these are square toe. These are Kenneth Cole, made in Italy. These I thrifted, these are such nice boots. I could not believe I found these. They're a little bit big on me, they're a men's size, but 
I don't care. I double sock it when I wear them because they're just everything. So here are how the shoes look on. Hopefully you can see them. I love how flowy these bell bottoms are. And they're not as long as I thought, so I don't need a huge boot heel. So that's, I like that these are just a little bit with a heel. And then I have that cardigan paired with it. Just a nice, light, cozy layer. And then again, I'm pairing that black leather bag. It has that interesting little handle. Just such a fun, casual, and such a comfortable outfit. I thrifted these pants, but if you can get your hands on some like soft cheetah, little flared pants, definitely do it. Cause there's just so many different outfits you can pair with it. really sick suede leopard print orange blazer jacket. It's amazing. It's giving me so with these vibes. Beats like Y2K vibes. So for the base, I have this Hysteric Glamour low graphic t-shirt. And then I've paired these really cool contrast pink stitched Y2K pants that have these really cool like ruffles on them. So I gotta figure out what shoes I'm gonna wear that will make that look good. Yeah, I think these pieces look really good together. I'm still trying to figure out what shoes I wanna on so one second so I actually decided on these red little kitten heels with the pointed toe I know this is like more of a burnt orange but inside of the leopard print spot it's more of like a burnt red so I feel like that just ties well together and there's a little bit of red in this graphic too and honestly I just love the little pointed toe red detail poking out of the really big baggy bottom of it and I love the cinching detail you can still see. The pants are really long but not too long to where I'm gonna trip over my sew. I just love a little bit of a pointed toe poking out of a really baggy bottom pant. And for the bag, since there's not really any black in the outfit, there's more like on the spots, it's more of like a brown. I'm gonna tie this suede brown slouchy bag with it too. It's the same texture as the jacket and the brown tones tie in with the spots. And then the little bit of pink contrast stitching in the jeans that you probably can't see goes with the pink in the text and the outline of the shirt too. styling is this really cool like midi trench coat it's like this alligator slash snake skin not sure exactly what it is you can correct me in the comments but how sick is this so for that i'm thinking i'm gonna double layer some dressing up so for the first layer i'm gonna do this thermal tank little camouflage dress and then lay over this micro mesh floral dress I have both those layered dresses on now i'm thinking for just like some nice little like black pumps to go along with this to kind of like fancy it up a bit. So just some nice pointed toe black heels. And then here is that coat thrown over that. I love that there's a lot of the same textures going on. There's a little bit of velour in this dress and there's like some shinyish velourish suede texture in this jacket too. And then for the bag, I'm doing the same bag as earlier because it has the same type of tones and textures as this jacket does. So next we have this cheetah print winter hat. I love these on super cold days when I'm out and about and everything and on bad hair days. You just pop one of these on. You can put your hair in braids, like little pigtail braids, all kinds of stuff. You don't just have to wear it down. I'm going to be pairing this like little fold over off the shoulder, little like teddy bear texture almost. I don't know what to call this, but it's such a soft material and it also has like some copper metallic shimmer inside of the threading. So paired with that, I put on these Xanadi Velour, like really dark blue cropped pants. And I know you're thinking like cropped blue, what? Just trust the process. So the second layer that I'm putting over this is this amazing, super long maxi fishnetted dress 
that I got on Whatnot from Backstitch. So let me throw that on top of everything and see how that looks. So I threw that fishnet long sleeve dress all over the whole outfit and I just like the layering situation with it. That's why it didn't matter that the pants were like navy blue because the black would kind of cover it anyway for the most part. And I like that the cowl neck sits really nice where that v-neck stops. So you can't even really see that, like it's supposed to be a part of the top or something. And then I just have paired my black chunky boots from earlier because I think that looks really good with this type of dress and silhouette and layering. And then here is the leopard hat. I think it looks so cute with this type of silhouette of outfit too. And it ties great in with all the colors. It has the brown and the black. So for the bag, I'm just gonna pair the same black bag you've been seeing in the video because I just like the vibes of it. I think it goes great with the like darker vibe of the outfit too. The big boy jacket. I have this amazing trench penny lane fur blocked coat. Let me know which outfit was your favorite and what other specific type of styling videos you want to see from me. And if you want to see a part two to styling animal prints or any other type of prints that you're curious about. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.